Can we ride every single ride in Magic Kingdom in one day? We're gonna find out. Yeah, we've got a list of around 30 attractions to get through. That's a lot, all in one day. It's rope drop time, so let's get started. I'm just like fleeing the spinning camel. She just is so accurate. Um, we are headed in for rope drop right now. A good option for rope drop if you do not have Genie Plus is the Jungle Cruise. Now Jungle Cruise does get lines that are pretty long relatively quickly. And then once they are long, they do stay long. Um, however, we do have Genie Plus today to help us get through that massive list of rides and attractions. So we are kind of cruising past some of these that we think we can get a little easier later in the day, like the Enchanted Tiki Room and Pirates of the Caribbean. And we're gonna head towards Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain area, see if we can get on one of those. Now I am feeling good about our chances today, Emma. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling amazing based yeah. on this area alone. Yes, because uh, Disney World has been just so slow. This is the slowest, this week has been the slowest I've seen the parks since everybody was walking around in masks. Mm -hmm. Um, and there were a lot of travel restrictions still. It has not been this slow in a long, long, long time. For reference, it is early September. School has started back for yep. most places, and I think that's what's helping us the most. Yes, and crowds will probably pick up had it in a little closer to Halloween once you get later into October. But I wouldn't be surprised if these crowds stay low for a little while. It has definitely been a surprise for me that it got so low so quickly. But I mean, I'm not complaining. All right, so today we are rope dropping Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain is a log flume ride that is controversial to some because you do get wet and not like a little bit normally quite a bit they have warning signs everywhere we filmed the best day ever in magic kingdom two weeks ago and they had this entire outdoor queue open at rope drop with a posted wait of 25 minutes we didn't wait nearly that long but they don't even have the outdoor queue like open to walk through today we literally just walked right up and we're walking up the stairs and in to the queue building if you were a brer animal, what, what brer animal would you be? What constitutes a brer? Uh, any animal with the word brer in front of it. A rare golden retriever. You'd be a brer golden retriever? Yeah. Brer dog? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Confirmed, Splash Mountain was a walk on. Yeah, I've never genuinely walked through that queue so quick. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was five minutes, but just to walk through. I also will say that Splash Mountain doesn't always open on time. Today we got lucky and it was open with the park open at 9 a.m. But that's not always the case. So uh, definitely walk over to Splash if it's on your list. It's a great choice for rope drop, but you can always head to Big Thunder if it is closed. I mean walked about four minutes for Splash Mountain. Um, we're now headed over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, another great one to knock out early with rope drop. It only has a 10 minute posted wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think our question today is less, can we do 30 rides? Yeah. And more, how fast can we do 30 I'm rides? I'm feeling amazing. I, if we can do this by like afternoon, that's that's gonna be expert level. Big Thunder Mountain is a roller coaster back in Frontierland. It is themed to like a runaway mine train and you're kind of cruising around this mountain where there's some natural disasters going on. We are cruising through the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad queue. Aspects of this queue are interactive, um, but when you're cruising through at this speed, which this looks like it's pretty much gonna be a walk on again, except for a little wait here at the end, uh, you don't really have time to see the interactive stuff. I will say keep an eye out and you might catch um, a familiar face. Right there, that po portrait, that is Tony Baxter, who's one of the Imagineers who helped with this ride. Our train has arrived. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. The wildest ride in the wheel. That was good. Thank you. <laughs>
our 10 minute wait was really about six minutes yep with a walk and a little bit of wait to board but really not wait it at took all. us less than 10 minutes to get on and off the ride yeah so yeah so it was um so far so good on our on our on our speed run of I'm the feeling kingdom. good me too uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, very fun okay. coaster. I definitely think it is a little more on the intense side yeah. um, for Disney World roller coasters, not for roller coasters in general. Um, Maybe it's for the kiddos. Yeah. If you want a smoother ride, you can request a ride in the front. It's smoother up there. If you want a wilder ride, in the back. hit the back. <laughs> All right, so we're on the fence. Our lightning lane, the Genie Plus Skip the Line lightning lane, is at Jungle Cruise for 10.30, and it's only about 9.30 right now, right? 9.40ish. 9.40ish, so we've got some time, so we're gonna try to knock out both Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean before we head to Jungle Cruise, um, and that would be five big rides within two hours of the park opening. This is magic. If not more. Magic is happening This right is now. Magic Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> you nailed that. <laughs> For our next stop of the day, we're coming to Haunted Mansion, which is a dark ride that takes you through, like its name, a haunted mansion. There are 999 ghosts, but they do have room for a thousand. We're going to see if they let us in. It is 13 minutes for the wait time. The spookiest number you can get for Haunted Mansion, because that means it's a walk-on right now. So we're going to hop in line while it still says 13. Since Haunted Mansion is such a short wait, we are skipping the extended queue, which goes through the graveyard. It is interactive. My favorite part is this little murder mystery at the beginning, but you can play ghostly instruments, read ghostly like poems and riddles and things like that. It's a super fun interactive queue, but we are bypassing since the queue is so short today, and uh, hopefully we won't be standing here too long, but I'd imagine it would be around 13 minutes. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? This whole time? <laughs> we waited about eight minutes yeah. for Haunted Mansion, which Hardly is any time at all. Yeah, pretty much just the time it takes for one of the pre-shows to cycle. Yep. I will say the lines are definitely picking up. I can't get my sunglasses open. Here. 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 Thank you. So our rope drop strategy is working out. Uh, it's all opposed to 30 minute wait. So we'll see if we can get over to a good one at Pirates, um, and we're getting close to our Jungle Cruise time, so hopefully we'll still knock out five by two hours in the park there. Killing it. Killing it. All right, on route to Pirates. You know we had to make a stop. Emma? This is my place. Don't stop. I don't want to see Cynthia. Cynthia. Here. This is uh, the haunted doll Cynthia that Emma is scared of, and I bring her over here every single time. Uh, you think she's moved? Yes, I know she's moved, because last time her arms were up. She was waving at us last time, and now she's just standing there menacingly. Cynthia. Emma is sacrificing our rope drop strategy to go to the bathroom. I'll allow it. This is my favorite bathroom. I'm going to stand in this weird alcove of jars. Honestly, what is this little alcove? Because there are like so many details in here. Like the theming's unbelievable. And it doesn't even seem to have a purpose. Does anyone know what this is for? Let me know in the comments. Did the Imagineers just decide to dump all their cool stuff here? It looks like it's usually closed. What? What is this for? Is this obvious? All right, it's 1024. Our Jungle Cruise reservation is at 1030. There's a 25 minute posted wait at Pirates. I think that this is going to get a little longer today. I think we go ahead and knock it out. And also we can see if it's actually a real 25. Hi, Pirates of the Caribbean is a boat ride through, um, well, a, a town that's getting pillaged and plundered by pirates. What? It's a very fun ride. It's one of my top two in Magic Kingdom. In fact, my other one Splash Mountain, so we've already knocked it out. Emma, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was not 25 minutes. No, it was about uh, 14. 14 minutes, not bad at all. I mean, we still probably have another three minutes in the queue, but not bad. Uh, we waited 17 
minutes, so not bad. And now we're in the window for our lightning lane. Lightning lane windows are an hour, so we didn't have to be there right there at 10.30. We have until 11.30, so we can go right Jumbo Cruise. Pirates is up to 55 minutes. Good job. So I think I think that was a good call to ride before Jungle Cruise. Absolutely. And uh, that means that after Jungle Cruise, we will be through our five rides in the first two hours of the park being open. Nice. Uh, five big rides. Yeah. All right, we are headed to Jungle Cruise, and while we walk over there, I'll just spiel Genie Plus really quick. Genie is a relatively new system in Disney World. There are three different ways it can be used. There's Free Genie, which gives you customized itineraries, and you can customize your preferences. That's free to use for anyone in the My Disney Experience app. There is Genie Plus, which is the replacement for FastPass. It is now the paid Skip the Line offering, $15 per person per day. And you can book around one Lightning Lane at a time to go ahead and skip the line at different attractions. A little tricky to use if you want um, a more in-depth feel on that. You can check out any of our many Genie Plus videos on the channel or go watch our best day ever in Magic Kingdom where we used it in a really realistic way with a lot of tips. Um, and then there's also the individual lightning lane, which in this park is just Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Uh, those are rides that tend to be more popular. They are not available with the rides offered with Genie Plus. Those rides are separately priced and subject to surge pricing so that, since it is date based. You do have to purchase individual lightning lanes separate from Genie Plus. You don't have to have Genie Plus, but you can. And our first Genie Plus lightning lane is going to be the world famous Jungle Cruise Tours. I am so excited, world famous, and for our favorite Quincy girl, it's a boat ride. It is a boat ride. And we're going to be Bro's gone for like... Dad joke? Yeah. This is... That's... Where did you find him? In the river. Oh. oh. I hope our boat doesn't go under. Ooh. Oh. oh, even worse. Drop something into the river. Don't attempt to retrieve it. Simply raise your hand. I'll raise mine, and we can wave goodbye to it together. Six <laughs> people. My name's Skipper Kaylee. We're here at the Amazon Rainforest. Yes, it is more of a mist forest, so you might have missed it. You, you feel that mist? <laughs> it was a light ring. Everybody say hi, Skipper Felix. Hi, Skipper Felix. Uh, don't worry, he's fine. It's his first day. If you're really going to cap off your experience, I would recommend buying a hat. Here at the Jungle Navigation Company, we know all about cap sizing. Yeah. Right. There are still individual lightning lanes available for Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Um, if you're a resort guest, you can book those starting at 7 a.m. Everybody else gets the chance when the park opens. Uh, it is a pretty slow day today, so there, it's not typical that they're still open by 11.15. Um, but you do usually have a little bit to make a decision on if you want to buy it. Seven Dwarves Mine Train is still available. It is $10 for guests today. It's a current post of 60 minute wait. So I'm on the fence about spending 20 bucks when I think that we can do everything handily. I'm following know. your lead today because I don't know. To Let's me. see how many are available. Because if it's like only if it's like none left, there are a ton left. Oh. So I think that we're gonna hold off on on buying this until we feel like we need to, and we might wait standby for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which I don't right. often recommend because it is a short ride with a very long standby wait. But 60 minutes, I kind of feel like it won't go too much higher. That's not that bad for seven dwarves. So we'll see. We're just gonna hold off. Yeah. We'll see. I went ahead and made a flight for 2:45 p.m. for Peter Pan's flight, and I think that we can knock out a bunch of filler attractions in the time. Absolutely, we can. Um, and we're sitting right next to one. Since we just got off Jungle Cruise, we are right across from Magic Carpets of Aladdin. This is what I like to call a picky up and spin around ride where it's very similar to Dumbo the Flying Elephants. In fact, this ride's sort of purpose is so there's another version of Dumbo the Flying Elephant, so lines don't get super long over there. You do fly on a magic carpet, you do get to control kind of the height and pitch of it. I'm horrible at flying these, and Emma is scared of heights. That's true. So... So this should be good. Okay. I'm braiding my hair. Oh, I don't like to go high, but I feel like you... Oh my gosh, the camel! Oh, the camel! Emma! I'm, 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 I am not even know she did that! I, do you know the last time I was on this ride? I'm not mad about it. I didn't know the camel fit. I did not know that we were going to fly directly to a stream of water. Yeah. I this was a water ride. Not me. I just say this one feels a little slower than the others. It feels less scary for you. This is very relaxed. I'm actually very pleased right now. Oh, no, it's tilting. I don't know. Take back everything I said. Next, we are gonna head into the Enchanted Tiki Room. Enchanted Tiki Room is a show where you get to hear the birds sing and the flowers croon. This is a Walt Disney 
created attraction. It's one she's obviously very excited. It was a Disneyland original and Fun fact about this, animatronics were invented for this in particular. They even talked about making it a restaurant, but they, Walt Disney said he was worried that the birds would poop in the food. So, animatronics in a show. It's also air conditioned and it's only about 10 minutes, so if you just need a break, hopping in there, it's, it's a good break. Yeah. I think we should just knock out Adventureland. Okay. You know what that means? Swiss Family Robinson. What? She is so attached to Swiss Family Robinson. What? The movie. I, I I'll think about you, it. No, I tried to get you to watch it after Best Day Ever. I know the whole plot now. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Next, we're headed into Swiss Family Robinson, which is a walkthrough attraction. You get to go through the treehouse where the Swiss Family Robinson lived in the movie. It is an older Disney movie, so not really as popular. And again, it is a walkthrough, so lots of stairs. It is a treehouse. It is not handicap accessible, unfortunately. So if you are unable to walk up the stairs or you just choose not to do so, this isn't a great attraction for you. All right, we only have a few more flights to go. Walking me up all these stairs. Are you doing well, Father? I'm doing well. I'm getting tired. Oh, now you're tired. I just, I'm, yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm willing to climb up these stairs. That view right there, a beauty. But also I'm out of breath. Next stop is another, what we would probably consider a filler ride, even though the wait times can get pretty high. We're gonna head into Small World. Small World is a boat ride that takes you through many different cultures and it shows you literally it is a small world. Are you so excited? It's a small world after all. Let's go ahead and get in line while it's still short. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> now when we use the term filler ride, that doesn't necessarily mean like it's a bad ride or that it's a ride you should skip. It just means it's not a ride you necessarily need to build your strategy around or use your Genie Plus Lightning Lane bookings on. It just means that it can be easier to ride it during the day. I did just hear that it's popped up to 10 to 15 since lots of people hurried over here with that five minute wait. It's a must-do for a lot of people, classic Disney attraction. So definitely not a filler from a perspective of you shouldn't ride it, but filler from a perspective of you should not use a lightning lane on it. Small world down. Done, check. Would you say that it's a small world after all? I would say it's a small world after all, and it's not that far of a boat ride if I'm going around the whole world. No, that was a pretty quick boat ride. It's yeah. like 20-ish minutes. Right. I didn't not know you bad. could travel the world that fast. Yeah, very speedy boats in there. Yeah. All right, we're back over in Frontierland to try to knock out this land so we don't even have to head over again to this side of the park because we will have done all the rides. And that means we have to head to Country Bear Jamboree. We get to. We don't have to. It's true, we do get to. I absolutely love Country Bear Jamboree. This is a short show. It's uh, about 10 minutes long. And it is a musical review hosted by the Country Bears, who are some animatronic singing bears. These songs are super fun. Um, I really enjoy this show because I always see families like smiling in it. And I think it's a really good case of like nostalgic Disney magic. It looks like the Liberty Bell Riverboat is here, which is one of our trickier attractions of the day. Because you can only catch it every like 20-ish minutes. You have to get on or else it's sailing. Um, and this is a super fun attraction. It is a little underrated in my opinion, but it's definitely not a must-do. I think they're loading right now, so we may miss it. We made it by the skin of our teeth onto the Liberty Bell Riverboat. Uh, this is a, a short cruise around the rivers of America. There's a little soundtrack you can listen to that talks a little bit about American history. And there are some very unique views of Magic Kingdom. There's also this cool Inzars part where maybe I have taken a nap. Mind your business. How's the boat so far? It's pretty exciting. I'm gonna let you. I know that might sound fake. It is genuine. Uh, this is an actually pretty historic vessel. It's super old. It is a real working steamboat. 
Um, it's guided, so it's not being actively steered, but it is actively working off the steam power. I love taking this ride because it is very relaxing, and you get some views of Magic Kingdom that you don't get anywhere else. Like this view of the backside of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, you can only see when you're on the Liberty Bell. And I like to wave at people on the roller coaster and see if they wave back. Also, what a way to see Florida wildlife. Like this really weird bird. Oh, that's a real bird. Yeah, it is a real bird. I think it's eating. Hard to say. My life goal is to be Sam. Can I be your dog? Yeah. And just sit in a rocking chair on an alligator swamp Perfect. and listen to bluegrass with yeah. my puppy. I'd be really happy. I also really like this view of uh, Haunted Mansion, but you don't usually get it from the water. All right, we just got off the boat. I'm so focused because look over there. A turkey leg may have? May, may no have. Come on, somebody's No, here. may not have. Please. No half. A little half. No, no, no half at all. Not a single half? Not one half. Oh. No, not particularly. I forgot where I was for this. We're in Tomorrowland because I was able to snag us a lightning lane for Space Mountain. Now, we definitely still have our lightning lane for Peter Pan's flight from earlier, but Genie Plus does have a two hour cooldown. If you book a lightning lane for a little bit further out, you can also book a new one after a two hour cooldown. So we've still got Peter Pan's flight, but a two hour cooldown passed, so we were able to book Space Mountain, which is where we're headed now. And then we might try to knock out at least some of the other Tomorrowland rides. I know something I could beat you in over here. What? No, Buzz Lightyear Space Rangers. I know every word. You might not. Carousel Progress is not a competition. It is to me. <laughs> We're headed on to Space Mountain. Space Mountain is a dark roller coaster. It is indoors. It, to me, is one of my favorite rides here in Magic Kingdom. But it might not be everybody's favorite, especially because it is dark. It can get a little bumpy in there. I'm ready. Winnie the Pooh is ready. And our lightning lane ready. Oh, our lightning lane is ready too. That was good. in the back in a long time and that was intense. One hand is ear. They're there. The one ha handed ear. <laughs> Do you need a mirror? No, I got it. <laughs> oh, let's try. Very graceful. Thank you. Oh man. Here you go. Boy. All right. <laughs> like, okay. Woo. You're so long. <laughs> She's so, so long. You're so late. <laughs> I, I usually sit in the front of Space Mountain, yeah. not on purpose. It's just, it happens. And I'm always like, oh, this isn't that intense. I was in the back and I was like, I'm going to fly out and be lost in space. Yeah, I love the back. It's absolutely my favorite part. But if you have somebody like doing it for the first time, maybe request the front. Request the front. Yeah. You don't, or like the second seat, so there's someone in front of you. I also was like, there's nothing behind me. If I fall out, I'm just not going to know. I would have found it eventually. <laughs> Alright, our next stop is Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. This is a shooter attraction where your toy size, you, you go along with Buzz, you fight Zerg. And uh, I am not very good at this ride, but apparently I'm in the presence of a galactic hero. And by apparently, I mean I've literally seen her do it before, so. We'll see, but I, it's not every time, but I'm pretty good. Um, we did snag a lightning lane for this one after Space Mountain, so. We're skipping the 40 minute wait in this case.
this is me playing one-handed, and I normally control the spinner. Yeah, I am so sorry for what I'm about to do. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Oh my goodness. Oh, Why would you do that? What possessed you? This is why they shouldn't give us control of the ride. So that's pretty, pretty disappointing. I can't lie to you. I'm only a space ace. I must say I'm a certain pilot. Good for you, you're a pilot. Just hopped off of Buzz Lightyear, Ranger Spin. Emma got about five times my score. I did. I didn't do as well as I normally do, but I don't know why you didn't do as well as you normally do. I was filming and you were spinning us in constant circles. We shared a coke and then I spun us in the spinny pole. Why did I do that? I don't know. Oh. But we've lived a tale the tale, so we did. onward we go. And we have more to do in Tomorrowland, but it's actually time for our lightning lane for Peter Pan's flight. So we're going to pop right on over to Fantasyland, Fantasyland and give that one a go. Now we are running into a bit of a hiccup. So what we did this morning was a good move, starting with Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Those are two very popular attractions that not only get lines later, but they are also outdoors, which means when that inevitable Florida rainstorm comes, it is September, peak of hurricane season. Uh, rainstorms happen almost every afternoon. Those outdoor attractions do close. Now, all of those are closed right now. Hopefully they will open back up, um, which they should once there's no lightning in the area. But uh, we'll be keeping an eye because that could throw a pinch in our in our plans. Could throw a pinch, or this could be a great time for us to get some shows out of the way. So. Yes, or both. Yeah. That's why they call it a challenge. Boom, baby. So we've made our way to Peter Pan's Flight for our next lightning lane. Peter Pan's Flight is a dark ride where you get to fly through Neverland and a little bit over London with Peter Pan and the Darling Children and go through the entire story of Peter Pan's Flight. It actually turns out that this is one of my favorite rides here. However, I know it is not ever worth the wait time, so it I really don't ride it. It is 75 minutes. It is posted 75 minutes right now. I would not wait 75 minutes for this, but we have a lightning lane, so I get to enjoy it and not waste my day. The other thing to keep in mind about the line for Peter Pan's Flight is it does tend to drop in the evening, especially uh, just before, during, and after fireworks. So if you are wanting to ride it without Genie Plus, you can ride it during the fireworks if you don't mind missing them, or just after if the park stays open afterwards. We went to Neverland. Peter Pan. I did end up getting us the individual lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train just because I'm worried about the raid making us Making this challenge a little more challenging. Mm -hmm. um, it is still down though, as are all the rest of the outdoor attractions. So, might I suggest a little Philharmagic? That's exactly how I feel about Philharmagic. A little Philharmagic! To get out of the rain, we are going to stop in Mickey's Philharmagic is the kingdom's most magical musical review. I am very excited. It is a 12-minute show. It features scenes from Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Coco, Lion King. There's so many great ones because Donald is hijacking Mickey's magical review. So we walked straight into the room. I'm grabbing some glasses. And I think you can pretty much tell it's not going to be a 15-minute wait. We will probably wait the 12 minutes the show takes, but that might be about it. Oh. We're killing it. Donna, wake up! It's showtime! Don't forget the orchestra! And don't touch my hat! for Prince Charming Regal Carousel, but that's about exactly the amount of time we have before our Winnie the Pooh reservation. So even though it looks sunny, it is actually still raining. Those outdoor rides are still closed, which is why the carousel has a little bit longer of a wait. Hopefully it won't actually be 15 minutes, but even if it is, we need to kill the time anyway. It was just a eight minute wait, so not 15 at all. And now we get to ride the carousel. We should have put you on Cinderella's horse. I don't think that was an option. Your dress is Cinderella. I know, but I... I don't think it was an option for us either. If you want to know how to find Cinderella's horse, you can check out our Best Day Ever in Magic Kingdom video. Next on the list, and our next lightning lane, of course, is The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This one is a really gentle, slow-moving journey through the 100-acre woods. There's a little bit of rock and a little bit of rolling. I'm very excited, and Quincy is extra super excited. 
Do your best Winnie the Pooh impression right now. Go. Honey. Not very good. I wish I could do a piglet. The Quincy. I have good news and bad news. Okay. One, it's still raining. That's the bad news. Okay. The good news is the Seven Doors Mine Train is back open. And I'm on the fence because basically when it rains and a ride is down, or for any reason if a ride is down during your lightning lane, whether it's Genie Plus or an individual lightning lane purchase, you do get an experience redemption, which is a way to make that up. With Genie Plus, you can use it on any Genie Plus attraction. For something like Seven Doors Mine Train, they just extended our window on it for the rest of the day. So we can go ride that ride whenever we want. And I think that while it's like the middle of the day, we should maybe pop over and, and maybe do some of these that have some short lines right now. Yeah. Get into some air conditioning with Monsters Inc. Glass Floor maybe. Now that said, we are gonna go ahead and hop on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because if this if it does start to storm again, if the ride closes again, we don't want to be stuck at the inconvenience. So we're gonna ride it while we have the chance and go ahead and hop in the lightning lane. I'm interested to see if there's a bit of a wait for the lightning lane since it has been down and everybody does get those experience redemptions. This is a coaster here in Magic Kingdom in New Fantasyland where you get to go through the mines with the seven dwarves and you might even get a glimpse of Snow White there at the end. It's one of the most popular coasters in Disney World. It's easily the most popular ride here in Magic Kingdom. And that's because it is one that kiddos and maybe shorter individuals can ride. It is not one of my favorites just because it is a little bit shorter, but it's easily the most smooth coaster Disney World has. And because it's so popular, the lines can get pretty long. That's why we always recommend doing an individual lightning lane just in case you don't want to wait or you don't want to wait until the end of the night. Okay, you're gonna, oh no. For those who don't know, Emma's very intense about spinning the teacups. I've never spun as fast as I have with Emma and I've ridden with my dad, many dads, and dads love to spin the teacups. All right, Emma selected her torture device for me. Can you pick it? We're already going really fast. We're doing nothing. What do you mean? I mean they're not oh my God. And here's the thing, it's just gonna get faster. Why are you so, Why are you so good at this? My like head is whipping around. took a quick lunch break, 20 minutes, because it is 4.55. We still got some, some rides to go. We're doing fine. We're currently... We're until what time tonight? I don't know what time the park closes. 11. Oh. Oh, we're good. Hall of Presidents is our final attraction in Liberty Square. We did Haunted Mansion earlier, so doing this one will knock out this side of the park, and we will only have attractions left in Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Hall of Presidents is an animatronic show where you can actually see all of America's presidents standing in animatronic form on stage. Um, it's very cool. It's a super neat way, I think, to preserve history of literally giving all of our presidents a robot. And when you walk in, there's a little bit of an exhibit, including this great seal of the United States. Thank you, Vanna. Which is one of the official uh, seals of the United States. There are only three. One is here. You're looking at it. Another is at the White House, and the final is in storage, just in case something happens to the other two. So this is a very rare sight. Walt's vision was to honor the nation 
by honoring the American presidency. Adventureland, Frontierland, and Liberty Square are done. We are now left with just Fantasyland and Tomorrowland, both of which we have knocked out a couple of rides in, so I'm feeling very good about our progress. It is about, it's almost six, so I feel great as well. We've got lots of time, not a bunch of rides, and yep. we've been able to grab quick lunches and things. Yep, so. and we knocked out the bigger rides, so what's left should be relatively easy for us to do. Enchanted Trails with Belle is not back yet. That would count as an attraction, but that uh, kind of story time experience with Princess Belle is not fully returned. You can meet Belle as a meet and greet in that location. Which I've gotten to do. And yes. it's really special. But we are headed right now. I was able to snag us the lightning lane for Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid. I would classify this attraction as a filler attraction. Um, however, it does have a 35 minute wait right now and it can spike up like that. Uh, it does tend to get really low later in the evening. It tends to, be, tends to be lower in the morning. So I wouldn't wait super long for this ride even without Genie Plus. I would wait for the wait times to go down a little bit. But since we have Genie Plus, we went ahead and snagged the lightning lane. Let's get our money's worth. Let's get our, get our money's worth. Disney, we pay you a lot, so we're going to use so it. So we're going to use it. do for me I do love the little mermaid but it's still like it's a I, I what makes me happy about that ride is that in 2011 they decided to do a from scratch dark ride that yep. takes you through the story and that's classic Disney to me and I don't ever want them to lose that Agreed. and so that that is special about that ride to me the animatronics are scary the animatronic especially Ariel's scary needs some help yeah but otherwise but it's a delightful ride your kids will love it the ursula animatronics unbelievably cool yeah. um so i think it's it's definitely worth doing um if you had to skip it i wouldn't be heartbroken about it there's a lot of stuff i would consider more of a must do but i i do think this is worth doing on a magic kingdom day it was really hard for me to learn how to hold my breath for that long but after i figured it you out know you don't have to what? you know you can just breathe on it you're not actually you're underwater. under water no that's a project it, the bubbles are <laughs> It's cool that you can hold your breath that long. Heading into Dumbo, the flying elephant. He is one of the most classic Disney attractions in my opinion. As you can see, you get in on Dumbo's back and you head up and you start flying. And that's it, that's the whole ride. And honestly, it is classic Disney. It's perfect for kiddos. It's perfect for adults who like Dumbo and flying rides. And I also think if you have kiddos, there's an entire playground in here for your kiddos and you can get a pager almost like from a restaurant and they will let you know when your place in line comes up so that way your kids can play, get some energy out, and you won't lose your spot in line, which is especially helpful for kids and parents both. There you go. I'm taking a tire. Okay. Oh, if I can. Are we stuck? No, no we're not. <laughs> I just want to like keep my eyes closed. No. Why not? We're just okay. We're tilting. And no, no, and in a good way. Oh, I hate that there's like not a look at this like gap. I know there's a I gap. I can go right out of that. Why would you say that up here? Mm. I'm gonna do like a little like wing flap situation. No. No. Yep. no. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. I'm just gonna look at Demo's hat. And I'm not gonna look at anything else. Yeah. I hate 
feeling like I'm falling. I enjoy when you feel like you're falling. Oh, that's cruel. That's cruel. I never said I was nice. I'm just a silly willy nilly old bear. You're literally sweet as honey. Oh, I'm kind of busy. We may. I have so little to say. Despite the fact that Emma does not like heights, uh, Dumbo is definitely a must do. You've got little kids, you have to do Dumbo. Agreed. Um, or you can swap it for something like Magic Carpets of Aladdin. If you're a classic Disney fan, you gotta do Dumbo. Um, but if you are neither of those things, you can probably skip it. So I would say there's a world where you can skip it. Um, or if you hate heights and, and going around in a circle. I enjoy Dumbo in a weird way, but also it makes me really stressed out. Yeah. I just like sitting in that cute little elephant. He's so cute. Fair. All right, we are headed up to the Barnstormer featuring Goofy, the great Goofini. This is a roller coaster. It is more of a like kid geared roller coaster. Um, and basically you are flying in the Barnstormer, which is like an airplane. It's a very quick kid coaster. It's a little more thrilling than you might expect, but it's a great introductory roller coaster. This is one of the first roller coasters I ever like rode. And when my brother and I were old enough to ride this without our parents, we rode it over and over and over and over and over again. So I have very fond memories of the Barnstormer. Um, and I think it's super fun. It's definitely not very long, uh, but a great one for kids. Uh, it's raining! Oh, it's totally raining. It is totally raining. Oh, you know what else we have to do? Tomorrowland Speedway and Astro Orbiter. Those are both outdoors. <laughs> you up Astro Orbiter. Even worse, Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm not oh happy. My God. Super short. It's literally like a 40 second roller coaster. Definitely careful bringing your kiddos on this one. It is a, a shorter coaster, a smaller roller coaster, and it's not as high, but um, it can still be a little intense for little ones. Uh, and if it's their first coaster experience, they might get scared. So just a heads up. I also will note, make sure you take your ears off. You might think like, oh, it's a little coaster. My ears will be fine. But every time I ride this, there's just ears on the ground below the coaster. So take those ears off so you don't lose them. These babies are not hats. Hats too. These babies are not cheap. All right, we're back in Tomorrowland. It is raining um, and Astro Orbiter is still open because it isn't storming. However, it has a 30 minute wait and Astro Orbiter is not available on Genie Plus. I don't really want to wait 30 minutes for Astro Orbiter. I wouldn't recommend it for you either. It is a cool ride. Uh, because it is like a Dumbo go up and go around ride, but up high and with a very pretty view and it feels a little more thrilling. Uh, still, I don't think we're at the 30 minute wait, so we're gonna try People Mover, which instead has a five minute wait. So People Mover is a very slow moving ride. It actually uses magnets to move. Um, it's super relaxing and it's extremely popular. Now, just because it's super popular does not mean it doesn't have short waits. People Mover moves a lot of people through, which is why it's actually named People Mover. And that means the waits tend to be shorter. If you see a long wait for this, odds are it will go down unless it stays that way for a long, long, long time. But amazing views of Tomorrowland, amazing views of Cinderella Castle. You go in and out of some of the attractions and it's breezy and relaxing and the seats are cushioned. Highly recommend this one. Always a must do for me. Even when I'm, if there's one ride I ride in Magic Kingdom, it's probably People Mover, even though it's not my favorite, just cause it's so easy and nice. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. Look at Tomorrowland Speedway. That's going to be you and me soon. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. So Tron Light Cycle Run is the upcoming roller coaster, as you can see. It's got that lit canopy at night, which will totally light up. The date is to be announced, uh, hopefully soon. And we'll find out when we'll get to be riding that baby. We had a relaxing ride on People Mover. We, did. we looked at Tron Light Cycle Run and got excited about it. We did. And now we're headed to ride Carousel of Progress, yep. um, which is a, a show in a rotating theater. One of the longest running stage shows in America. Yep. The most show. The most, most shows. Yeah, most shows of any running stage show in America. Yep. And that's because the actors are robots. 
What? Yeah, they're not real. Oh. John is not an ageless man. What about Sarah? Also not ageless. Ooh. Wow. It's a it's a must do. It was at a World's Fair, so it's historic. If you are in history or a Disney fan, um, although I will say I've taken a lot of people on this who are not history or Disney buffs, and they loved it as well. We are coming in on the clothes here. We're doing well. We're headed to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. This is actually a show that I absolutely adore. It is an interactive comedy show with the characters from Monsters Inc. And you get to see Mike Wazowski, and your goal is to help them fill up one of their canisters with laugh power. And there are, they you tell jokes that are sent in from the audience, they interact with the audience. It's a similar technology to like Turtle Talk with Crush where the monsters do actually talk to you and it's a different show every time. So I absolutely love this. And for me, when I'm like having a fun day in Magic Kingdom, it is a must do. But I know for some people it's a skip. It kind of just depends on how you feel about shows. Mike Wazowski! Woo! Mikey, and I figured a good start would be to tell the jokes of you have been sent in. Do you guys want to hear it? I'm obsessed with that show. That one is one I honestly end up skipping for other things and yeah. go to it, and I remember how Why much would I love that. I absolutely love Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. It's hysterical. I laugh out loud every time. It's so good and interactive. It's, like, it's just such a special experience if you get yeah. to be some of the people chosen to. And even if not, you get to see like other people, and like everybody has a good sense of humor, and yeah. Like, uh, it's like other guests getting involved in the show and it, it just it puts a smile on their face like nobody's business. Yeah, I like I haven't seen it with a full audience in a while and that was a real a real delight. Like I haven't When everybody now. gets into it, they're laughing, yeah. you're laughing, the monsters that guy. are laughing, that guy, he's laughing. Yeah, great, great show. So good. We really built um, a bad into our evening for ourselves, <laughs> saving our least favorite rides for last. We obviously did that subconsciously. Yes, yeah, subconsciously. <laughs> they're both didn't want to ride them. They're both kind of like lower weight rides. I'm not sure what you can't use GE Plus. Tomorrowland Speedway is my least favorite ride in all of Disney World. And That's intense. Yeah. I understand it. Yeah, and Emma hates Astro Orbiter. I do. It's my least favorite ride in Disney so, World. Will we make it on these rides? One, because it's still raining. And two, will we survive them? Also yes, questionable. and maybe. <laughs> yes, and maybe. So we have made it to Quincy's least favorite ride, the Tomorrowland Speedway. This is a ride where you get to get in cars, you get to drive the cars. They are gas cars, and you can definitely smell it while you're here. It is one that is not a lot of people's favorites unless you're a kid who can drive a car for the first time. And then it's a great one, but maybe not for me and Quincy on this particular evening. For some reason, the pedal is so hard to press. The pedal's very hard to press. I have ridden with children who were driving and I was aggressively pressing the pedal and it's been 100 degrees and it was a long day. Emma's driving. Orbiter. To get up there, you do actually have to take an elevator, which is usually why the wait is a little longer. It's very low capacity. Uh, the wait is still posted 30 minutes, but there's like nobody over here. 
So I don't think it is 30 minutes, but I guess we will see. All right, we're waiting for the elevator, um, and it's been about three minutes, so I don't think it's gonna be a 30 minute wait. No. But we were just discussing uh, yeah. the way that you stay in the astro orbit is awkward what? when you're too adult. Why not? And we were thinking that we're definitely gonna stay in the same rocket, because I wanna see him a freak out. I've never ridden with another adult. It's, it's so. something. I'm excited. It'll be, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. Everyone will see. Okay. You ready? I'm so scared of heights. She's scared on, she's scared on Dumbo and Triceratops spin and I'm putting her on the same thing but on top of a building. So it's been about uh, 10 minutes since we got in line downstairs. We've been in the elevator up and you can see there's kind of these two like little <laughs> paddocks for lack of a better word they load you into and they load, they release one and those people go get on the rockets. So we are next after this go. Um, so we'll probably wait about 15 minutes, which is much better and a far cry from the 30 that was posted. How about this rocket? So I get in first. I think I get, I think I should get in first. Which way's the front? That was the front. Okay, got it. Okay, just clamoring in a rocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so intimate. <laughs> skirt wearer. I'm wear, wear some shorts. Wear some shorts. We wear shorts under our skirts in Disney World. It's a, it's a small rocket. <laughs> Those rockets are intimate when you are too adult. They are weirdly intimate. I'm, I'm glad, glad we're friends. Yeah. I'm glad we're friends. If we weren't, this would be that so been much worse. Don't ride Astro Orbiter on a first date. No. No. Or with your sibling. I've done it. Oh. Yeah, it was awkward. That was tough. Yeah. But also, we did it. We did it. That was the end. It was, we did every single ride slash attraction show in Magic Kingdom. And I conquered a fear. So challenge completed Awesome. Yep, park open at 9 a.m. It is now 9 p.m. It took us about 12 hours to do on a relatively slow day with GD Plus. Yes. So challenge is the correct word. It was a challenge. Um, but we did it, and yep. the park isn't closed till 11 tonight. Yep. So we would have time to meet characters. Um, we even took some breaks today. We did have lunch. We grabbed some snacks. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't impossible. We rode no. Tomorrowland Speedway twice. We did, and we still could make it to fireworks if we wanted. Yeah. So challenge complete. Yeah! If you like this video, go like and subscribe. Now go watch our best day ever in Magic Kingdom. See you there!